Kogi State Government on Thursday received the first payment from the federal government's 13% derivation account, signaling the state's official enlistment as one of the oil producing states in the country, as recommended by the Revenue Mobilization, Allocation and Fiscal Commission. This was contained in an announcement made by the state governor, El Haji Yahya Bello, during the state executive council meeting on Thursday, where the governor also added that Kogi historically was the first and only state in northern Nigeria to be enlisted in the league of oil producing earners in the country. Today, 20th of October, Thursday, 2022, I, Lahaji Yahya Adosa Bello, the executive governor of Kogi State, seize this opportunity to make this wonderful announcement to all of us and to all of us across the world. A history is being made today under my leadership that Kogi State, one of the northern states, is now recognized, confirmed as oil producing state. We have received the first tranche of the first tranche and the first payment of 13% derivation. So, officially, Kogi State is now oil producing. Reacting to this information during a press briefing after the SCO closed door session. Commissioner for Information and Communications, Kinsley Farnwell, noted that although the state was pronounced an oil producing state in 2021, the enlistment became effective on Thursday. At the state executive council meeting today, uh, the chairman of the council and the governor of Kogi State um, announced the fact that Kogi State has effectively become an oil producing state. Uh, though we were pronounced uh, to be an oil producing state since uh, uh, last year, but we just started receiving the oil money uh, today. And uh, he has also assured the people of the state that the derivation allocation as an oil producing state will be judiciously utilized for uh, the development of the state. He also reiterated the fact that he's pledged to the state to ensure that the resources of the state work for the state uh, is fully adhered to. The Commissioner for Health, Dr. Zachary Usman, also gave updates as regarding his ministry. The Executive Governor of Kogi State, al Haji Aya Dozabello, graciously approved you know, for the procurement of newer equipment for a number of um, facilities within the state. Some of them are you know, newer equipment for Kogi State Specialist Hospital, um, Prince Abaka and Audi University Station Hospital and the Ultra Modern Zonal Hospital in Jegu. Um, also, in today's ESCO, His Excellency also approved, you know, um, a new um, management structure for the reference hospital in Okene. The reference hospital in Okene is a tertiary health institution with cutting edge technology that is set to um, achieve a number of things. One of them is to provide soccer for people of, of Kogi State, including other residents of Kogi State. The second thing is to stop our people from going to seek Medicare and diagnostic from outside, and ultimately to also um, serve as um, an avenue to reverse the medical tourism out of this country. This is because um, we have high-tech equipment in this facility, uh, MRI, CT scan, renal dialysis machine, we have a um, hyperbaric oxygen chamber, and there's also um, oxygen generating plant. So this is a high-tech equipment, about 300-bed hospital. And while looking at the sustainability of this program after the expiration of the 
tenor of this government. And what we have come to realize is that uh, this facility, because of what it uh, it tends to, uh, the, the the level of care that is going to, pro, to to provide, and for the equipment, the high tech equipment, and its turnaround maintenance, we have gone into a concessioning agreement with a world class um, uh, facility organization, the Zenith Medicare uh, and Renal and Kidney Center, who also have equal facilities that they are managing currently. We've gone, we've been with them, uh, have a lot of discussions with them, and we're satisfied that they have both, you know, the, the appropriate personnel in terms of skill set, qualification and number, and they have the technical capacity to manage this uh, facility.